speak to Obaido Hito in Shanulfa, near the Turkey-Syria border. Hi, Obaido. So tell us more about the significance of the Tuesday's patrols. This second patrol between Russia and Turkey is important because this is a test for the relationship between Russia and Turkey. This is coming after a failed deal between Turkey and the United States to make sure that the YPG pulled away from the Turkey-Syria border. Uh, then Turkey launched Operation Peace Spring and took an area between Tel Abyad and Ras Al Ain. And even within those areas, uh, Turkey continues to face the threat of YPG elements that c carry out uh, terror attacks. Even today, uh, there was a bomb that exploded. A vehicle uh, borne explosive device was exploded. The man who actually blew up uh, that particular uh, bomb was caught. Uh, luckily, nobody was hurt. But the threat that the YPG poses to these areas still exists because uh, the United States uh, did not fulfill its commitment, according to Turkey, to pull the YPG away from the border. Now, Russia is uh, trying to work with uh, Turkey, uh, conducting these patrols 10 kilometers deep in into Syrian territory to make sure that the YPG isn't there. It's very significant that President Erdogan is saying that Turkey is not going to be fooled, that the YPG has not uh, moved out of these areas. Uh, he made some reference saying uh, that the YPG was also still attacking Turkish forces and Turkish-backed Syrian National Army forces outside of the safe zone. He's most probably making a reference to areas in, in uh, south, south of Ras Al Ain and Tel Temer and south of Tel Abyad and Ain Isa, where YPG elements continue uh, to clash with Turkish forces and Turkish-backed Syrian National Army. The Turkish military and the Turkish-backed Syrian National Army say that they're going to continue fighting the YPG as long as it poses a threat to the people in northeast Syria and to Turkey. Obaida Hito, live from Shanurfa, near the Turkey-Syria border. Thank you very much.